I did a fellowship in um, in neurology oncology, so that was that was my primary focus. And it was just a natural progression. Um, I also was doing laparoscopy, so it was just a natural progression for me to take care of, of patients using this this technology. Laparoscopy is when we use um, small scopes, small incisions to 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 perform procedures. For instance prostates. The evolution of the da Vinci in its first generation was doing it laparoscopically and that's taking a small scope and small instruments to, to remove the prostate gland. Uh, one of the problems with doing a prostate laparoscopically is, is that it's long and it's tedious and operating in the pelvis is very difficult which makes the da Vinci just uh, the technology of choice because the da Vinci was, was built for pelvic surgery. African Americans are at a higher, higher risk incidence is higher in, in that population than, than, than others, um, than any other um, cultural-based um, population in, 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 in the world, actually. Here in Alabama, um, that, that is significantly true also. Not only are, are, do African Americans ha have a higher risk, but also mortality is higher in, in the African American population. Um, at the time of diagnosis, the, the stage, which is how, how large the tumor is, and the grade, which is the Gleason score, which is uh, um, how aggressive the tumor is, all of those are significantly higher than, than, than any other um, uh, culture-based population. I, I think one of the largest challenge being African-American is, is getting the word out to the African-American population. I had a, I had a patient that, um, that was an African-American patient that came in with um, stage D, which is the, um, the most progressive stage, PSA of 220, and a Gleason score of 10. Um, and, uh, and obviously that patient has, has had cancer for a while and he's in his 60s and, and never, to his knowledge, has had a PSA. And, and if he has had a PSA, he didn't fully understand what a PSA was. So you can see where uh, early screening may have made a difference in, in, in that patient's overall treatment. So I think that's the biggest, biggest frustration is, is just educating the people, getting the word out. Um, I hate when I have a patient for the first time that's 65 years old and, and never had a PSA. And because if, if you, according to the screening guidelines, if you're African American, you should be getting screened at the age of 40 and anybody else at the age of 50. But that's very challenging to, to it's the education process. The Da Vinci was, was built for pelvic surgery. Um, in addition to that, laparoscopy also now, not only for the prostate but for the kidney. Several procedures we utilize the laparoscopy for as it involves the kidney, whether that's reconstructing the kidney for those kidneys that have been uh, obstructed. Um, we also use it to remove kidneys, um, to remove part of kidneys, to also allow us to, to, to utilize radiation ablation of tumors in the kidney, and, 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 and more recently to start doing cryotherapy where you freeze tumors with uh, liquid nitrogen. So we use laparoscopy to allow us to set that type of technology up to treat tumors. We are currently doing uh, female reconstruction, female prolapses. Uh, we are doing sacral copalpexes when the vagina and the bladder prolapse out. We are now lifting those up. That allow us to, to, to give a patient a nice procedure and yet have small incisions so they're not uh, burdened with staying in the hospital trying to heal from a large incision. My hospital stay, it was an excellent stay. I was in the hospital overnight. I went home the next day. I was not in any pain at all when I was there. And I was up and about and ready to leave the next morning. Uh, things that I could not do before the surgery, such as if I'm out to dinner, you know how you laugh and do because of the leaky bladder. I couldn't do that or sit long periods of time like in church and places like that. I couldn't do that, but after the surgery now, I can get up and go out to dinner and spend as much time as I would like. I can laugh. <laughs> I can enjoy friends and family. And it's just good. You know, the robot, the Da Vinci, it gave me my life back. And I am, I'm really happy about it.